You know what I'm talking about. Guess what? Time for King to King consultations to be open for everyone. Only a select few brothers have been uh, contacting me. Now I'm opening up to the general public as far as my subscribers. So with this official video, uh, a lot of brothers have been contacting me about life in Africa as regards to being a uh, black man returning back and what to expect. So uh, I've been providing consultations uh, frequently. And so I want to make this available, you know, for you all now. So uh, please, please, please check me out. Uh, check out the information I'm about to give you right now. I'm sure you'd be happy about it. You know what Welcome to King to King Consultancy. Whether you are single or married king, there's a lot to learn about living in the motherland, aka Africa. Your mindset and other characteristics may need to adjust to this new environment, especially when dealing with the role as a man. Here are some of the services that I provide the men assist you. Marriage to a diaspora queen in Africa. Marriage to a African queen in Africa, seeking marriage in Africa, the male role in Africa compared to the male role in the African diaspora, the family structure is hierarchy, becoming a Muslim and accepting Islam, understanding Islam as a non-Muslim, living in a Muslim country, adjusting to the local customs and social norms, reclaiming your throne as the king of your domain, how to learn foreign languages, information about military veterans. I've traveled and lived abroad off and on for more than 30 years, and I know firsthand how living in a strange land can take a toll, especially without essential information. I've been living in the Gambia for more than a year and a half and I've stayed, started several businesses. I've also traveled and lived short and long term periods in different African countries such as Kenya, Tanzania, Morocco, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Senegal and other countries around the world in Europe, Asia and the Arabian Gulf. When I make this statement I truly mean it. I'm boots, sandals, and barefoot on the ground here in the Gambia. So please contact me if you need quality assistance from a fellow king that truly cares. I look forward to assisting you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, peace and blessings, fam. How you doing? Hey, happy companion tours, discover the Gambia. We still doing it, so I'm rocking my shirt today. Hope you guys are having a blessed day, blessed Sunday. Uh, I had this live scheduled for the evening time, but I have so many things planned throughout the day that I'm, I'm doing it now.
So uh, apologize for that, that, that short change of plans because sometimes things happen here while you're in the Gambia. Yeah, I live in the Gambia. I'm, I'm here in Africa. I live here um, uh, nearly, I'm close to two years now. Hopefully I'll be here longer trying to do that. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm happy to see everybody. Uh, had a, uh, I slept good last night. I was like, normally I've been having sleep issues sometimes, but I've been sleeping good. So last night was a good, good, good sleep for me. Um, and so I uh, woke up, took care of some business, and now I got to take some more business today. So I decided to do that, give you guys some updates, what's going on in the Gambia, uh, going on in my life, going on, and, and what's, you know, a lot of things. So let's start off, you know, this right, okay? Hit the like button if you, as you come in. Uh, don't be shy about that, all right? <laughs> don't be shy about that. So let's start it off, you know? Uh, you know, basically back in the 70s, the early 80s, I was a young kid growing up in East Side, Long Beach, California, LBC. Became awakened. I gained knowledge of self. Breaking institutional post-slavery destined to destroy the black man, black woman, and black child. And that's what's going on. But guess what? I'm here in Africa. So right now, there's a lot of obstacles that's going on uh, within our community. It's within our community and from outside our community. You understand? So a little bit about my background too, and I'll tell you some things, okay? Growing up in the mean streets of East Side, Long Beach, California as a teenager in the 80s, when the crack epidemic and game banging almost destroyed the black community. Like I said, I become an awakened, gain knowledge itself and breaking the cycle of institutional post-slavery. How I repatriated to Africa, how? How repatriation to Africa could be the only solution to save those ancestors who prayed for us to return back to the motherland and to help regain, regain the glory that it once was. So there's a lot to that. You know, I'll tell you my background briefly. Hey, growing up in the hood, <laughs> Long Beach, California, during the crack epi epidemic when it was just reaping havoc, you know, uh, people dying, people addicted, people going to jail. It was just a crazy time to be growing up. But I don't uh, want to change it for the world. You know, those experiences have led me to a lot of good different, a lot of different things in my life. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm a worldwide traveler, a self-published author who lived and traveled in several countries. I speak several languages, everybody. I support the reclaiming of African roots for the African of the diaspora, the African diaspora. You know what I'm saying? Peace and blessings. Basically, you know, I'm here, you know, my, form, my background as, a, as well. Former military officer. I was a law enforcement officer as well. Uh, I have a master's degree. Uh, I was adjunct professor teaching classes. Um, basically, I have the purpose of my channel is to help you all to come back to the continent for those who are on a spiritual, spiritual journey like myself. And also to make sure that you come prepared, that you that you come knowing things. Like I mentioned, I had some videos about the juju stuff. I had videos about um, my car, you know, and the mechanic and everybody driving around my car for two or three weeks without telling me. You, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of the, you got scamming. I have videos about scamming, about people scamming, about this, people breaking in, about, I have safety, security videos about uh, for women, women sleeping with their drivers and taxi drivers and, you know, acting silly out here. I got videos about that. So, you know, I try to, but I also I got videos about how beautiful this place is, how beautiful the people are, how I'm so fortunate to be here in the continent, to be waking up, to wake up every day. I wake up in Africa, how important it is to me because it's like a dream that came true for me. And my dreams and my thoughts, because I'm protected by the most high, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my dreams come true. My wishes come true. Whenever I put something together, it comes, it works for me. I'm the, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it may come, now that come today, it'll come future, future, future. But if it's not meant to be, then it's not meant to be. You know what I'm saying? So things may not come because it's not meant to be at that time. So I, I think of that. So the purpose of my channel, you know, I really want to inspire the African diaspora to come back to the continent, come back prepared, come back happy, come back. Uh, without struggle-free, stress-free, come come out, come back without having to deal with 
the hood mentality, okay? Um, the ghetto mentality as far as like self-hate, uh, plantation mindset, people who are out to just try to make a buck off of you. That's what I'm trying to prevent. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to prevent all that kind of stuff. I want you guys to come out here and to be happy. So I, I take the bruises. I take the verbal abuses. I take the physical abuses. I take all this kind of stuff because you know what? Uh, a lot is protecting me because everybody tells me when things happen my way, they see things. They, they said, man, you're blessed. And I talk to religious people in Islam and they said, man, Allah loves you because look what this, look what's going on. Look what people are saying. Look what people are doing. Look what this and that. You are blessed because and I thought about it. I said, yeah, I'm blessed. Thank you so much for, for reminding me because when things happen good and when things happen bad, we say Alhamdulillah is a Muslim, and, and uh, we say uh, all praises due to Allah. In uh, Hebrew, we say Hallelujah, same thing. Praise due to God. You know when things happen like that. So I just let you guys know. Like I said, I slept like a baby last night. I really uh, want to just be. Uh, 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 thanks in the chat. I see some people in the chat. Hit the like button and stuff. I know there's a lot of other, probably a lot of other videos and stuff going on right now because I haven't got a chance to check. I don't, I don't never really vlog this early, so or do lives this early, so um, I'm not accustomed to this time. So every now and then I may do it, but like you know, like I said, uh, I'm here for you. So, all right. So um, let's go to some more information so you guys can uh, see what's going on here. All right. So, like I said. You saw my thing. I got the motherland. Um, I got the King King consultations. I got some other things um, that's going on here uh, in the Gambia. You know, uh, besides that, of course, let me show you something real quick. Um, you know, like I said, I have my tours going on. I have my tours here. Okay, happy companion tours. Discover the Gambia. You come to the Gambia. We're gonna have it set up, and it's already in the work. But we're gonna have. Uh, airline involved, you're going to have hotels and stuff, bookings for you all. And that's part of the repatriation process. Okay, the repatriation process isn't just designed to just uh, bring you here. I mean, come here and then uh, you try to find a place to stay, this and that. Cultural immersion tours and things like that is important because you need to know your, your way around here. You need to know what the people are about. I have I have a lot of I can't really say too much on here, okay? Um, because those are plans and works right now, and I don't want to uh, people try to sabotage it and things like that for hate hate purposes and, and try to copy it and whatnot. I really don't care about copying it as opposed to just hate and make it look misunderstanding it. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I got the tours going on, okay? Those two brothers, I got some more brothers on there as well. Uh, like I said, TAC Consultancy, okay, got that going on. People have been hitting me up. Thank you so much. Like I said, um, for nearly 30 years, uh, well, actually more than 30 years off and on, I've been traveling abroad. I've been living in different countries. I lived in Asia. I lived in Africa. You know what I'm saying? I lived in many places. And, uh, I, I, you know, this is not my first African country I lived in. I've been in uh, other countries as well. And so I feel like... Um, like you guys uh, will be at service, um, you know, you'll be in good, you're in good hands with somebody who's well-rounded and who know local languages and um, who studied, who has education, who ha who doesn't have a criminal record. Okay, I don't have a criminal record. I'm a person with integrity and honesty. I'm that type of person that you will consider your brother or your uncle or, you know, if for the older people, I'm your son who's going to guide you and make sure that you don't get scammed out here with your land. Make sure that you don't get pimped by uh, hustlers from the from the diaspora. Who all they want is your money. All they want is your money. They don't care about nothing else. But when you come off the plane, you you that you that big cow. You that what you call it, a cash cow that's coming off the plane. We're not trying to do that. People coming out here broke with no money. They can't even buy a plane ticket to get back home. You know what I'm saying? And then they see you. They get bloodthirsty, okay. And so right now, there's a uh, there's a lot of things that's going on um, in in the Gambia because there's a, a seem to be a, a, a people are jockeying for position to be leaders.
okay, of whatever the hell it is. I don't want to be a leader. I'm my own leader, okay? I am me. And they probably watch it now, waiting for me to say something so they can make a video off of it. See, that's how scandalous people can get. You know, that's how things are. So I do my best to just maintain what I have to maintain and be on that straight path. Because like I said, it's a spiritual journey. The righteous will be attacked. And that's what's going on in a lot of senses. You got hustlers who, who, who are, who are horse, uh, and hustlers and stuff that are being protected. You know, they, they, their dirty laundry uh, aren't, aren't being seen, but it will be seen. Trust me. But check it out. Fashion. Okay, so I do have the online tailoring fashion. My shop is still open. You know, I go there every so often. Um, I'm, I go there every so often. I try to, uh, but it's on it's on appointment based only. And I'm trying to make it 100% online if possible because I didn't come here to be a retailer. I came here to be a business and entrepreneur like I am. Okay, I got so many text messages just now. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so that's what's going on. I also have, like I said, the King to King consultations, the brothers, my black brothers, my king, fellow kings, fellow leaders of your homes. You need to know how the African lifestyle here is here as a man because the, the, the reverse role that you're living in is toxic. It's not conducive to what a man should be. Although there's some men who come out here and they think they're men, but they're not. They're nothing but hustlers trying to take your money. You know what I'm saying? So be careful with that. Be careful with that. What we got right here. So, like I said, just one other part, King to King consultations. All right, let me say hello. <clears throat> All right, cool. So let me say hello to the chat real quick before we get, get too dirty started. I know, man, it's early. I, I did this the last minute. Salam to you. Uh, Tabaski was good. I went to some uh, family's houses and, um, you know, with family and stuff. So we went. I had some goat. I had some, uh, also went to Mandinka's and Fulani places. <laughs> I was eating, uh, uh, had a good time. Uh, the, the kids got the celibu. They, you know, they, they asked for the money, of course, and, um, and adults too. <laughs> I just gave a whole big bag of uh, rice away. Uh, to some folks, they go, you know, so I don't like to say what I've done, but, you know, that's some things that I do here. Um, it was great, you know. Um, it's like uh, people dress all nice, they're walking around looking nice, you know, so it, it's still a celebration going on. I think it's more for uh, uh, Ramadan, to be honest with you, you get more celebrations than for the basket for Ramadan. Uh, I mean, for, uh, you know, for Eid that Eid and uh but it seemed like it's uh good you know the masjids you know packed you know everybody there so it's been nice hey it's let you know salam alaikum to you my sister how you doing poppy cheese hey what's going on Ahi? alhamdulillah respect keep it on people yes of course brother you know what i'm saying let me uh see if i can do something for uh poppy cheese i like i like poppy cheese he's been coming on my channel forever Let's see if I can do something special for Papa Cheese real quick. I wasn't going to do this live until tonight, my family, but I had to do it today because I have so many things going on. And um, this morning, so let me see. I have some more uh, events to go to, and that's going to be. Uh, oh. Oh, Papi G said, you're already a moderator. <laughs> I was going to be a moderator. I already made you a moderator. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Okay, cool. So Papi G is a moderator. <coughs> okay. Um, all right. So, yeah. So let me see real quick what we got here. Salibo. People said it's called kind of Salibo. Okay. So it's uh, Salibo. Okay. Salibo. Gotcha. All right, cool. So let's do this real quick. Let's get on to the topic at hand. So I'm going to have a, a, actually a webinar coming soon. And the webinar is going to involve, um, you know, real talk. And people are going to have buy, you're going to have to book it with me. And we're going to talk about real stuff um, on the ground here, the repatriation, what it's going to take to be here. 
Okay. I want to say one thing too. Shout out to all the military veterans, U.S. military veterans, active duty, guard, and reserves who serve and are currently serving with honor. And they are in harm's way. May uh, God protect them from any harm for protecting our nation in the U.S. So they, including me, um, like I said, I served <laughs> three decades basically. So. Um, we surf, we get hurt, we get injured, we get all kind of things going on in our lives. But those sacrifices are well worth it because we're able to do things that other countries can't do. Okay. We're able to have certain freedoms that other countries don't have. You understand what I'm saying? Certain liberties and things like that. So for brothers like myself, sisters who are in the chat, sisters, uh, brothers and sisters who are or veterans who are, or who are currently serving, they're making a great sacrifice in order for us to be free. So uh, I'll tell you this much, for me to travel around like I do with that passport, what can I say, you know, much love to that because um, most people get much, uh, um, extra scrutinized when they travel and uh, to other places, but, you know, we get a little bit more clout you know, more respect. So because our people fought, we serve, you know, black, white, yellow, greens, you know, all the races, all the ethnicity. So, you know, we, you know, so I'm proud and honored to have served. And uh, if I ever called up again to do it, I'll do it in a heartbeat. So just let me know, just let you guys know that um, just because you come to the continent, you want to be an expat, repat, doesn't mean that you have to hate where you come from. And I think that people get a misunderstanding of that people get uh they're confused because they're thinking that you have to give up this and that and all that because you want to uh we uh because you move into africa no it's not it's not the case be 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 proud of where you come from and also learn about where you're coming to okay where you're heading okay so some has been some have been wounded mentally physically for the service of our country and we thank god for you all because let me tell you something we won't be able to do what we're doing if it wasn't for people like me service members you know, serve with honor. So uh, I'm really, uh, really honored and humbled to have served. And, and like I said, now I'm serving you all. So I feel like it in this capacity. So that's all I want to do. I'm on a spiritual journey. I'm not out here playing little silly games. Okay. I'm not a perfect uh, imam. And no, no imams or muftis or mullahs or nothing like that are perfect anyway. I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to say is that I'm the person uh, who make hijra here in order to uh, practice my uh, religion and to be around uh, a country of Muslims mostly. And that's one of the reasons why I came. One of the reasons, other reasons, I love African people. I don't care if you uh, Christian, Jews, whatever, Hebrews. I love to be around uh, people here. I love the, I love the, um, I feel like I have my ancestors prayed for me to come, you know, for one of their sons to come. I have, I have, I have family in Nigeria right now that are Nigerian. I found them through DNA and I met with them for several weeks and they're my family. I have family in Africa. I have family in Gambia. Okay. So for me, you know, I'm here to stay. Okay. Um, and I feel like um, it's a lot of work to do. It's, it's tough. It's not easy here. Okay. It's not going to be easy. Okay. Um, but you're going to have to uh, stand up and, and fight. You're going to have to stand up and fight with regards to not physically. I'm talking about with your inner strength to maintain what's going on in your life, uh, to maintain what you're doing. OK, you, you can't be a faint of heart. You can't be a weak minded person. You can't come over here expecting everything to be like where you come from. All right. So you got to be able to adapt to changes. You got to be a, a day, able to adapt, adapt to this heat out here, you know, just, uh, um, you know, certain things, good and bad, all right? So I've been getting, I say, I got some, I woke up this morning and like I said, I got some emails once again for some subscribers and also from uh, on my uh, motherland logistics and storage, okay? I'm going to talk about that today a little bit too to help you guys with your repatriation process, okay? I'm not here to compete with nobody. If somebody got a repatriate, they got another program going on, another group, then go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight you and do what you gotta do. That's room for 
people. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Discredit you. I'm not gonna uh, uh, because I'm jealous and envious and stuff. That's what goes on. You know, black folks, we get jealous and envious of people so much, and uh, and that's the reason why we are, we are losers. I don't care if we put each other in a sustainable community. We're still gonna be fighting and hating. People are still gonna be breaking in people's homes. People, they're breaking in people's homes in the hood right now. And it's and it's and it, you know what I'm saying it doesn't matter you know where you at you, you know you got to come out here strong you got to come out here be able to hold your own if you're able to hold your own then you can go with other people but if you're gonna go over here with other people and, and try to group yourself with people and try to be doing this guess what as soon as something goes down nothing wrong you get kicked out the click you get kicked out the group you better come out here and handle your own business don't be a chump coming out here okay now here goes some emails. Can we meet? Can I meet you and your family, you and your wife, you and your family? Who in the hell are you to even want to meet me and my family? I don't know you. You're just a subscriber. You're just a follower of my channel. That's nothing that, that, that you don't meet me and my family. Who are you? And I'm going to tell you the reason why I have this uh, in me. Because, you know, do, do you just, I mean, meet me is a different uh, story. But when you add family to it, what is the purpose of that? What is the purpose of that? You're following me. You ain't never seen my family on, on YouTube. So that's the underlying issue with that question. Okay. And then I have met with people before. Okay. And I just, like I said, I just saw some emails and I said, yeah, I met with you. As soon as y'all open your mouth, you're talking about other YouTubers. Don't meet me to gossip about other YouTubers, other people here. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. I'm not, I'm not here to be your information man. I'm a man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not here to be your gossiper. Okay. I'm not here to, de to be, you know, uh, seeking tail or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Meeting a professional. Uh, and I bring, I always try to bring another, uh, uh, somebody with me, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't like to meet people by myself. And the reason why is this, man, a lot of sisters, man, y'all can be kind of treacherous. Y'all can, y'all can say he said this, he did this, or he said, I don't got time. I need a witness because that's some scam stuff going on. I don't got time. Like I said, uh, you know, to meet me, we can, we can do that. And like I said, I got a couple of emails. Another thing, um, I got an email saying this YouTuber is scamming me. And they mentioned the name of the YouTuber. Okay, what do you want me to do about it? Huh? There's, uh, I may even go to serious crimes myself, uh, you know, to, uh, to disclose some stuff about what's going on out here. I may go to serious crimes myself, okay? I got so much uh, invoices and receipts on folks out here, man, based upon what you what I experienced. And I'm like, hey, you're talking about scamming me. How do you, how you, how do I know you're not the YouTuber sending me a fake email saying that you're scamming, that, that you know, to see what I'm gonna say about your ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here for that, okay? There's lawyers, there's things like, uh, uh, there's videos talk about go to serious crimes and stuff. Go ahead, and follow those, follow them. I'm not getting involved in y'all mess, I'm not getting involved in y'all silly uh, uh, clicks. Okay, I can't be cool with one person because y'all got beef with that person. I can't be cool with this person because y'all got beef with this person. I can't, I, that's why I stay away from y'all ass. I don't want to be around y'all. It's too much childish, ghetto, negro five people who are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and probably in 60s. I've seen some out here too, okay? All right, so keep that in mind. No, can we meet, okay? Yeah, book an appointment, hmm? Book an appointment, yeah. You can book an appointment to meet me. If you want to book an appointment, it don't have to be paid booking. It can be something that's, hey, you know, my time is busy. I'm here I'm here trying to make a, make a difference and try to uh, take care of myself and my family here. OK, everybody think that somebody you just got so much free time to just meet everybody all the time. You don't got that kind of time out here. OK, but when, when I when I do, when I get a gut feeling that the meat is not for good things, my body and my mind tells me this person's up to no good. I meet with several people all the time who come in from uh, America, from the UK, from the, from from the Caribbean, even the Gambians and Americans. OK. But when I meet with them, before I meet with them, I get a, I get a good vibe. I say, okay, okay. I don't have to post a picture of meeting somebody every time I meet with them. Here's my subscriber. I don't have to do that. Every now and then I do that, okay? 
So I don't have to do that. Okay. And I respect people's privacy as much. People don't want to be put on YouTube. They're just happy that he, a lot, especially Gambians, they see me all the time from, from, the, um, from the Gambia. They like, uh, they in a the diaspora to come out here. And I was at a cafe. Uh, father and son saw me and they just started smiling. I said, What's up? You know what I'm saying? They said, You the happy companion. I said, Yeah, I'm happy companion. And I meet with people all the time. You know what I'm saying? But some people just meet with me to try to troll and to gossip. And they just try to pick me for information about other YouTubers. Okay. So if you if you want to meet with me, don't ask me about other YouTubers. Okay. Because that's what y'all do all the time. It's like some people got little uh, snitches running around here trying to collect the information so they can put it for their channels. I'm not I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. OK, if you got a problem with somebody scamming or you want to talk, you want to know about a YouTuber, contact them. Contact them. That's the easiest way to do. Don't don't. I'm not your your your, your uh, gossip boy. OK, I'm not that. So don't ask me about that. OK. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we can meet, but the vibe has to be right. Some, some, somebody say, yeah, I want a taste of that TAC water. You can see it's like something involved in that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Even on the voice uh, call, uh, cons consultation, I will meet you, have some of that TAC water. You know, this is for my sister. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I understand. Okay, I, I, I'm with you. Okay, but I don't want your drama. I don't want your drama. Okay, so uh, I don't got time for it. We already have enough drama in the diaspora, and then we coming over here bringing drama. Okay, we coming over here. Like I said, I paid my own ticket here. My tickets. I paid for my own room and boarding at the Airbnb. Okay, people trying to take credit for that. People trying to say they got land. I got their land through them. I didn't get my land through them. I got my land through a through the uh, organization, not through an individual, trying to take credit for that. People are just uh, clout chasers and trying to be uh, get recognition for doing stuff they didn't do. You know what I'm saying? I really want to go deep and hard on this. I'm not that kind of, it's not that thing right now. I'm not trying to do it like that. But I just say right now, that's the kind of mentality that you're going to get out here. Okay. And you don't need that kind of stuff in your life. You coming out here to heal. Hopefully you heal yourself a lot before you come here. Okay. And we all got uh, issues. People got PTSD from where? From being in the hood. Huh? Growing up single parent households with the, with the mother running stuff and the dad in prison or in jail. I mean, jail, prison or dead. Hmm? We have that. You have uh, mental stress just for working in a white supremacy environment hmm? because you have to feed your family and you have to make sure that it's great. That's, that's, that, that they shelter. And if you lose your job, guess what? They don't have, no, they don't have any food. They won't have food. They don't have any shelter. So you got to succumb to white supremacy and racism, discrimination and bigotry. So a lot of you are healing from that. Okay. Some people, they have this hustler and pimp uh, play mentality and they bring it to the Africa. They try to pimp you all. Okay. If you notice, I don't do videos with everybody. I may did some videos before, but I don't do it all the time. That's people who want to meet with me now. And I know the reason why they want to pick me. No, I'm not going to meet with you and do a video. I'm not gonna, I don't got time for it. You understand what I'm saying, everybody? Listen up, man. This enough because you know people get a little bit um, into uh, looking at certain little one two things and not looking at the whole picture. That's what we need to do. We need to look at the whole picture. We come out here and uh, and um, and you know basically you know you meet, you meet my wife. Why? Because some of you women want to know who my wife is. Y'all want to know who she is, or if I got wives or whatever. Y'all want to know. Y'all want to say this because y'all want to go back in. And tattletale. Y'all want to go back and, oh, I saw it. Some of y'all want to sleep with me. It's been offered. Yes. So you can say, yeah, I screwed the THC. I had sex with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was good too. But you know what? You know, you know, you understand what I'm saying? That's what y'all want. You know, come on. We're trying to repatriate here. Huh? 
We're trying to repatriate here. We're trying to make it. We're trying to come here and, and, and live a different life than there. We're trying to come out here and build. Okay. We're going to go. We're going to, I got some, I got some notes. I, 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 so we're going to go through those notes. Okay. Because some of you are going to be in the delusional mindset and thinking everybody's on your side and they're not on your side. They talk a, talk a big game, but they're not. They're fake. They're phony. Okay. They make good people into bad people. Huh? So you got to be careful with that. Okay. So this YouTuber scamming me. So why are you telling me? Okay. Uh, you know, what you want me to do? I'm going to give you, you got the phone numbers to the, you got lawyers. I, I refer you to them. What do you want me to do? Make a video? Huh? Make a video. Oh, you know what? This person scamming so I can make a bit like, like people been going behind my back and going to other YouTubers and, and telling them to make stuff up about me. Huh? Is that what you want me to do? My channel's not about that. I'm not going to go. You're not going to email me and, and, and try to get me to talk about people on my channel. I'm not going to do that. I'm a grown ass man. That's women stuff. And there's other there's other channels, like I said, that that have that their channel is based on that. And I respect that. OK, and that's what men and women. If they have channels like that and they do that, that's fine. Because that's their that's their platform. That's how they do it. But don't try to put a platform into that type of platform. Okay? That's what they want to do. That's what they do. Okay? And that's how they do it. But don't try to turn me into that. Oh, did you hear this person talked about you on the channel? This person did this. I'm getting emails. I don't care. I fight my own battles. I don't need you to tell me this. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I don't, I don't got time for that. That's childish. That's elementary uh, school tactics to try to make you um, react, and, 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 and you y'all want me to react. Y'all want to be entertained. The people sending me emails, y'all want to be entertained. I'm not here to entertain you. Go somewhere else with that. That's it. Okay. Now, So we talked about subscribers, emails, and questions. A lot of times, they send emails and questions to me on, on the consultations. Uh, you know, it's a, it's very. Uh, I keep your names and I keep your thing, everything confidential. You never have to worry about me disclosing information that you tell me as far as like questions or you have or our discussions. I won't give your name out like that. Okay, all right. Now, if you saying that you are doing something to kids or you doing something, I'm gonna report your ass straight up. You're gonna be reported. All right, so I, it's no if fans of if fans of bus about that. You're gonna be reported, so trust me. Just be, so be careful what you disclose to THC on the consultations. I don't got time for it. Just let you know that. So, like I said, so if I get any hint that you are, are a troll or a gossiper, I am not gonna meet with you. I am not gonna meet with you. It's not gonna happen. All right. Now, this is some things that's happened to me while I was here, when I've been here, and people try to play little silly games with me, okay? So people are desperate to get gossip and information. This is what they've done. According people, when you drive them in a taxi or something like that, they had their phones on record, or they had their phone on thing. It's, this happened to me. They want you to make the calls to the number. They already got, they already got it. They already got the number to the person that we're going to meet because that that's their friend, not my friend. But you give you you got your phone in your pocket, but you give you you having me, you having me call the person that you that you are setting us to meet up. Where's your phone? Because you just called me when we five minutes before we met and said I'm on my way. And then when we get to the place that we're going to meet the person, guess what? And all of a sudden. You you take your phone out and you go behind and you and you do something. You take it off record, whatever, so you can hear me talking. That's what people do here. They're desperate to 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 man. People are sick. They try to get you to side with them. Why should I side with somebody who constantly dogging me out 
or using people to dog me out. I ain't signing with you. Huh? You was trying, you trying to use people to ruin my reputation, and you want me to side with you. I got invoice and receipts on your ass, homie. Trust me. Trust me. You're lucky I ain't gonna. You're lucky my channel is not like that. That I would get on there and start riding your ass. You know you're the, the punk you really are. Because that's what you are. Uh, reputation. I got integrity. Yeah. My platform is pretty positive for the most part. Okay. And so you want to side with me. You want me to side with you after you try to blackmail me, whatever, try to use people on me. <laughs> you must be great. You can't blackmail me because there's nothing to blackmail me, homie. You can't do that. I try to help you. I try to speak up. But you keep going on and on with the same old program. Nobody want to hear this old rhetoric for two or three years of crap. Nobody want to hear that no more. Be your own man. Use your own platform. Do your own thing. Okay? That's one thing I can say. All right. Then sometimes I say some things on here, then all of a sudden, uh, the benefit of the community and somebody else is saying it. But that's fine. I don't I don't mind that. If I, if I, if I drop some jewels... And my positive content will help other people. I'm not in competition with anybody. Everybody worried about whether the TAC wants to be a leader. Is he going to be the leader? Why are you worried about me? <laughs> Why are you worried about me? Why are people worried about whether or not the TAC is going to be a leader? I've already been a leader. I hung those up. I'm my own leader. Like I said, I don't need to be a leader. I'm my own man. All right. So I don't need that. There's other people who need it because they never really had leadership roles. They just, you know, uh, wimps talk about they from the hood and stuff. Got chased home every day from school. Come on, man. People are just nerdy as a hell. Talk about I'm from this place. I'm that. You're not nothing. Give me a break. Using other people to do your dirty work. Get the hell out of here. You already been called out. You've been exposed. You're going to be exposed more than that. Trust me. It's about to come out. It's about to be lit. I'm not trying to get sucked up in this crap. I'm out here trying to build. People can't come out here, build your own home. You can't build your own thing and live happy. That's white folks out here, Europeans out here with their own home. They had no sustainable communities and all this stuff. They ain't after nobody. They just have their own home, the damn dogs and, they, and, and, and whatever they have to protect them. CCTV cameras and stuff like that. Okay. What's the motive about that? It's the underlying motive about that. Why people keep saying that? You don't have to have that. Bob wire, don't build your 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 your, your home against the gate. We see that happen or something like that. We know that's a you know that happens to you know thinking smartly and wisely. Like I said, I I, I dealt with security and law enforcement for nearly 30 years, everybody, with a master's degree related to that. And I taught criminal justice courses as an adjunct professor in college. Okay. I'm not some hustler that's coming from, from, from the hood, coming out here hustling and pimping you out your damn money. That's not what I'm about. I got the education and the worldwide experience with multiple languages. I'm still just speaking English. Don't even know the native tongue of other of of languages here. Okay. I speak Arabic and Swahili. I'm learning Fula, Mandinka, and Wolof. But what are, what are you doing when you come here? You're going to stay in some community and still be in the hood forever? You're never going to, you come to Africa to try to be immerse yourself in the society. But if you want to do that, that's on you. But people shouldn't be forced and scared to go into 
uh, to be on their own. Don't do that. And this is one thing I can say. Some people come with the hustling mentality. Hmm? They don't care about you. Hmm? It's all about the money and clout. That's what they care about. The position, to have a title, to be the top dog. They don't care about you. They don't care about this, that. It's fake. It's phony. They're using the movement as fear tactics. Hmm? Robberies, etc. Oh, if you if you live by yourself, you're gonna get robbed. Like I said, Lebanese, Indians, Europeans, they living in their own compounds. You see them clustering together and say, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna have we you know we black folks coming back to the to the to the continent. We blend in more than them. Why would they rob us more than them? Think about it." Don't get brainwashed in food over some uh, scare tactics so they can people can pull your money together. For what? You can't make it by yourself. Yeah, you can. There's people doing it. I'm making it by myself. Don't get fooled by emotions like that. Don't get fooled by that. So you're going to live together and sing Kumbaya. You're going to have the same damn garbage and gossiping and, and, and uh, clicks. You're going to have the same type of mentality. You're going to have probably gang banging and stuff. Trust me, unless they get the right people together, educated or people working skills, class people together. I lived on mil military base housing before. Okay. A community inside of a base that's insulated, insulated, that security forces patrol the place all the time. Security uh, doing. Okay. People on the base get urinalysis and drug tests. Okay. The, the place, the, the cars are searched, the vehicles are searched before people come in. And guess what? Still in those damn communities, <laughs> you have adultery, people sleeping with people's wives and husbands and stuff. You got dysfunctional kids, spray paint on walls, robbing a little shop at, getting arrested, almost getting their parents kicked out. I know, I know parents who disown their kids for their careers in the military because their kids are out of control. Robberies, hmm, breaking in people's homes in a secure place with cops everywhere. Security forces on the base, breaking in people's homes, smoking weed, smuggling drugs inside the base, cocaine, marijuana, ecstasy, hmm? having little parties like that. That's not the solution. The people who did, who had a better time is the people who stayed off base and stayed within the local community and did what they had to do because they know when they're on base, they none but a bunch of crap. Most of the for part of the time. Most of the time, it's, it, the purpose of it is to be safe in the community, to have something. People just go to work easily without having to do with traffic, all that. But you have the, you have the security forces busting people all the time for all kind of stuff. Rape, NCO club over there or whatever, Airmen's club, whatever. Uh, taking them back to the dorms, getting raped. That's a that's a that's a community. Everybody's getting paid. Everybody got rank. There's a child hall. People eating the same spot. There's a gym. Everybody go to the gym together. But there's still gonna be crime. Everybody, even people coming off from the base, going in there, robbing and stealing. They get in there on the base, scoping out places. They know when people are going to be on leave for thirty days, or they're gonna be going out of their uh, 
or, or military orders or TDY. They know when it's going to happen. Don't let people feed you a fantasy. Don't let that. Don't let that happen, family. You're going to be sing, singing Kumbaya. A lot of times we sing, oh, I'm going to leave the diaspora. I'm going to leave the diaspora to get away from white supremacy and racial discrimination. That's not the whole point, everybody. Sometimes we leave to get away from our people with this, with that stupid mentality. Sometimes our own people is our worst enemies when it comes to unity. Hmm? The white supremacy premises don't have to, to do anything. They just watch us destroy each other. Am I right or wrong? Yes or no? True or false? They're watching us. Hmm? No, just let them get together and see what happened. On a positive time, yes, if it's done right and correctly, if people have true intentions on, in, in getting you together spiritually, okay, spiritually, financially, uh, morally, not just I want to have a yacht and get rich. Man, I'm telling you right now. Now, I live in an apartment here when I first got here. I live in a compound. I live in an apartment. It's like six stories high, six or seven stories high, whatever. Floors high. Security in the front doing 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day. My place almost got broken into twice. And guess what? UK, Gambians, African uh, diasporans, Asians living in that place. Even someone, a judge was living in there for a period of time doing a court case. So you got security in that. I understand some people are not going to come here financially prepared, but don't come. Don't come. If you're going to come here not financially prepared, if you need to come, if you come here not financially prepared and you need to be clinging to people, don't bring your ass here because it's not the place for you to come. Africa will eat you alive and chew you, chew you and spit you out. And not just the Africa, the African diaspora, the diasporans as well. Okay. They will eat you alive. So like I said, I had 24 hour security, uh, 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 apartment, two stories, swimming pool, all that kind of stuff. The amenities. I stayed on the rooftop. I stayed in a, like the penthouse. Hmm? I had my own uh, balconies and all that. Still got almost broken into twice. The answer is not by yourself. The answer is not sustainable community. The answer is with you. Who are you? Are you prepared to come here? If you come in here wimpy and you trying to you need to be around the same people that you left because you need that type of security and all that you're going to lose here because you don't know who you who you meeting here i already told you my track record military law enforcement officer this and that education stuff i already mentioned that am i a threat am i here to do you harm no i'm a businessman I'm on Hydra. I'm a family man. I'm here to be at your service as well. You understand what I'm saying? I got positivity. I'm bringing positivity. I'm bringing things. I'm not in competition, but people are in competition with me. And again, it's not that dangerous, man. I can just, I walk around here two or three in the morning if I want to. It's not that damn dangerous, everybody. It's an Islamic country. They have mostly morals here. Okay? Nobody's perfect, of course. You're going to have crime. You're going to have this and that. But I'm telling you right now, it's not that bad. Don't let people scare you into trying to get some type of, and take your money. And that's what's going on. 
Anybody who's a threat to to certain people, they try to shove them out the way to make room for them. Are you are you are you guys reading between the lines and seeing what's going on? Are you seeing it? And a lot of times, anybody if you're a YouTuber, anybody you block or you or you or you whatever, they go on certain places, platforms, and they trash talk. That's what it's about. They're venting because they don't like you. They don't like what you did to them, especially the women that I rejected. They don't like it. Find you another man. OK, I'm already taken. And if I have two, three or four, you're not going to be part of it. OK, so that's that's what it is. Now. Like I said, Europeans and other ethnic groups live off the grid out here in the Gambia. They have that compound secure. They got dogs. They got CCTV cameras. They got all that stuff. OK, some people just want to be by themselves. Are you going to cur- why, why are people being cursed for wanting to do their own thing? Because people just want your money. That's why you do your own thing. You have your own bill. You build your own thing. Guess what? They're not going to get your money. They're not going to get your money. I said again, they're not going to get your money when you're doing your own thing. That's the problem. Read between the lines. Look at the stuff that's going on. You're being scammed. You're being scammed. You're being misled. You've been confused because a lot of you guys haven't never traveled overseas. You've never been to Africa. You've never been anywhere. You never even had a damn passport. And now you're going to listen to some people trying to scare you into doing something in a group. Group of what? No. Group of misfits? Group of people just trying to uh, get a name for themselves? Is that what it is? Stuck for Lazim. Get real with this. Come to a Muslim country. Man, respect, respect. People are trying to call me right now. Probably said, tone it down, TAC. Tone it down, brother. <laughs> man, I'm telling it like it is, man. So check this out. Now, like I said, not everybody don't need to, everybody don't need to be in a sustainable community to make it in Africa. You don't need to be bunched together to survive. You don't need that. You come out with the right money, the right thing. You do your own thing. Who wants to get caught up in all this drama? Who who wants to get caught? Gambia got the worst drama going on in the world. I can't. I can't. I, I never seen nothing like this. This is crazy. People come out here to heal and to build and to take care of their families, and they got to watch this crap all the time. It's ridiculous. People want to leave. I mean, people leaving a first world country to come to a third world country. And you come in here without the, the right uh, uh, equipment. You come in from a first world country where all the infrastructure is, 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 is 100 percent. You know, it's excellent for the most part. And then you coming out here struggling to survive. Why are you going to put yourself in a situation like that? It's not that bad where you at. If you handle your business, build your stack your money up and do your thing, man. Then you come out here prepared. Don't come out here for the, you know, that's what, you know, you ever see those, you ever see those uh, videos or music videos or movies when a country girl, something coming from, from the, um, on a, on a bus, she just ran away from home. She only got a, a, a backpack, about $20 on her. And guess who? Guess who comes off the damn uh, bus? Guess who's waiting on off the bus when she get off? A pimp, a hustler, a drug dealer. Waiting to take advantage of you when you come out there. Be part of this community, huh? Go through some uh, house with a whole bunch of other women in there, using drugs and prostitution and stuff. This is your community. She what, she what what did she do wrong? She didn't come prepared. She didn't come to handle her own business, to handle her own thing. Oh, she walked by a, a, a person prepared will walk right past the pimp hmm, and, 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 and go um buy them a house for their own self, get them a job on their own. That's somebody who's prepared. Don't come out of here on emotion. 
you come out here on spirituality as well as practical practicality, being practical about some things. You need to get your act and money together before you come here. If you don't get your act and money, then don't even come. You don't need 100 people living in a compound to feel safe. If you want to live, some people can't adjust to, to the environment here. They may not, and they may need that environment, okay? But be in the right environment, okay? Be in the right environment. You need a CTV, CTV camera and a couple of dogs, and that would do the trick. Also, plan wisely. Like I said, don't build your fan, your house next to, you know, don't do that. I think there was a, a tactical error that, was, that wasn't that was even meant for that family. I think they were, the main compound was for them. But that was just a temporary, you know, that's what it was. It was the story. But now we know. Look, we are making, we are taking the bumps and bruises for you all. You're seeing the mistakes and you're seeing not even, even if it's not provoked or uh, initiated by pe our people. You know, things happen to people even when you have good intentions. You understand what I'm saying? Even when things are perfect, something uh, close to perfect, things are going to happen. Okay. So you have to be, so, you know, you have to remember that. So we are out here taking the bumps and bruises so to make your, your time here easy. Mm -hmm. To make your time better when you come here. Let me look at the chat real quick. If I, I even looked at the chat. Hey, everybody looking, how y'all doing? Exactly. 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 Let me let me keep going on, man. Because I'm, I'm on a roll right now. And I, as I said, please, please never have me drop some names on here. I really don't want to drop some names. But I tell you, I tell you what's going on. I tell you what's going on. And, and people trying to silence me, trying to find anything on me, because they know I got stuff. They know what they're doing out here. They know what they're doing behind the scenes, man. It's nothing. They don't care about you. They only care about your damn money and only care about getting a place in a position in, in order to, to feel like they they on top of the world. That's all it is. This is some things that uh that I've witnessed here and when I heard here. Oh, yeah, when the repats get together and we get to get all this stuff, I'm gonna get me a yacht. What you gonna get a yacht? How are you going to get a yacht? You, you, you don't have a yacht now. Uh, so with the repat money and stuff, that's what it seemed like. And that's what was said, basically. Okay. Weed and alcohol. That's all you see, too. That's all some of some, some the people do. Weed and alcohol. Going to Airbnb, I have, you know, I mentioned that. Guess what? I'm taking bucket baths. Hmm? Bucket baths. But I stand to promote trying to help group economics. Okay. I was told to pay for my own Wi Fi. I got to pay for my own. I got to go to the turntable, or whatever, and buy my own Wi Fi. For a place that I'm playing for Airbnb? What kind of crap is that? But that nobody wanted to hear that. Nobody wanted to say that, huh? Hmm? No. I pay for a whole month up front. 30 days for my Airbnb up front. Now I'm asked to pay for a Wi-Fi. Then when they do put the Wi-Fi in, it's weak as hell. As soon as the staff start watching Nigerian movies and stuff like that on the on the on the uh, on the, uh, the screen or whatever that that you know the Wi-Fi that smart TV, I can't get no 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 signal. I hate to I hate to do this, man. I hate to go like this, but let me tell you something. I'm not I'm not I don't care right now. At this point, I really don't care. Because I care about our people and knowing the truth, what's going on, okay? 
people got multiple wives, but they 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 stand at, at different locations at the Airbnbs. Ceiling fans. Ceiling fans so damn small, it's, it's like a drone. You need a ceiling fan that'll fit like uh, at least a quarter of the damn room. You ain't getting no air in there. This is where the money going to? This is where the, uh, the money, is, uh, sustainable livings and all this, going to do this kind of stuff? People not even comfortable in the rooms. Hot, sweaty. And somebody show bold. Hmm, I'm, uh, this is my compound and, and look at me. I'm on the balcony and all this. But guess what? You're on the balcony. What? It's your compound. No, it's not. You're renting it. You be here for years renting. Don't own land. Don't own damn thing. But get mad when other people try to own their own land and build their own house. People try to rent their own hand, get their own house. Because people, don't, we, we don't want to be fooled. We're tired of being played. We didn't come here to get played by our own people. You're not fooling everybody. You're not fooling everybody. Everybody been fooled. I'm not a fool. And certain people aren't fooled. And they're after your ass because they see what's going on. You try to discredit and, and, and mess up everybody's reputation because yours is screwed up. You cause it yourself. You let the wrong people around you all the time, and you try to do stupid stuff as well. Slick stuff. Then you go behind the scenes and talking, and, and I, I don't have nothing to do with, with somebody saying this about this person. You're doing it. You're going behind there, feed misinformation for people because you want to be top dog, repat. As soon as a YouTuber makes something good about somebody, like myself or something, you on there, oh, talking in the chat. People try to support you. People not trying to say negative things. We're trying to say, oh, yeah, you know, the stay was excellent. It wasn't excellent. It wasn't like that. It was a joke. And then you claiming that you paid my way to Africa on plane tickets. You paid my way, my hotel stay. You paid, you didn't pay nothing. I'm not one of your flunkies. I'm not one of your flunkies. Then go to the compound. So I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the roof or the balcony looking, I look at my kingdom. When I first saw the damn thing, it was doors falling off, the hinges and shit. It was all kind of uh, crap, dirty, raggedy, smelly. And then ironically, hmm, all, all the doors looks nice and fixed and stuff a few months. And when I came back, I'm like, oh, hmm. See, I have credibility. And my credibility is trying to be ruined because of jealousy and envy. People say, ignore this, and I ignore it. But I ain't care, concerned about the YouTubers. I'm concerned about people behind it. Like I said, I always say that. So when the money starts flowing in, then you, your place starts to look nice and, 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 and nice with, and, and stuff, huh? Presentable. Is that what it is? That anybody who comes in with some good reputation or a good YouTube channel or whatever, you want to take them for you yourself to promote what you're doing. Is that what you're doing? Fooling people, fooling the vloggers, fooling the, the, the people. I got man, I got I, I write down everything. Trust me. Look at this. This is just a start. I got books. Man, I got all kind of stuff here of notes that I've taken. Everything on this side. I got books. 
I got notes of everything. And they can go to serious crimes as well. I can make that move. Because our people aren't going to be fooled by some pimps anymore. And hustlers. Pimp, pimping. Trying to, people try to point it on me as if I'm that person. It's, it's you or the person. You're the person on the ground misleading people to believe in your stupid dreams. I got the hell out of Dodge. I ain't putting up with, I ain't being part of that. Are y'all walking with me? People can only sit down and take so much of crap and listen to so much of garbage. Okay. Rebuilding yourself while trying to put down everybody else. That's not how you build. And people who try to back you up behind the scenes, coming to check on you, make sure everything's okay. As a brother, as a black man, if you behind the scenes acting like a little girl, crying at other people all the time, nobody want to hear that crap. Nobody want to follow that crap. Who want to follow that crap? Nobody never been a leader of nothing. Not in the military, nothing. Hmm? Who wants to? Who wants to follow that? Who wants to be involved in that? Hmm? I know this video may take me to a uh, dark, whatever. People are gonna talk crap and all this. That's fine. But I don't care right now. The only thing I care about is my people who are trying to come here to Africa who are being fooled by pimps and hustlers. And that's what's going on. And ain't even the Gambians. Now, we got a piece of land out here. Well, it's not a land. Will you go drive with us real quick? Yeah, sure. Where are we going? Uh, I'm going to advertise some land, and I just need you to speak on the behalf that, that, that this is where the community is going to be. Oh, really? Is, is the community? Yeah. How many? Well, the community is not going to be there, you know. But I just want to just just show that the community is there. That that so people. No, I'm not going to do that. I have integrity. I'm not a pimp or a hustler, pimping a movement. I'm not going to sit here and use my platform to lie, to deceive our people who are trying to come home and they bring in their life savings so you can be the top dog. You ain't using my channel for that. Yeah, this is live right now. You're not going to use my cha channel for that. I was here for the two months, came, took three months to, to get back here. All hell broke loose. I still try to conclude my name up in the shit. I'm not part of that. All hell broke loose. Still try to include my name up in it. See me as a threat. It's just a random area. It wasn't even a, it wasn't even a place that's designated that they were saying, hey, this is exactly, you didn't go to physical planning, you knew nothing. Just wanted me to do a video. That's the second, it happened to, it happened to, the, it happened again, it happened previous to that or after that, I can't remember, with another group who tried to get me to do the same damn thing. No, my platform is not going to use a lot of people and say this is where the land's going to be and use my name on it. If anything happened, well, the THC, he's the one who said it. You don't want to do nothing. You, you don't even have a phone in your name. You have everybody else call everybody else, man. You have everybody calling this person, this person, using their number to call people. You don't want your name or your record on nothing? What is it? You you afraid of? I'm a yeah, I'm afraid of people like you guys. Yes, I don't want to meet with y'all. I try to help. I try to help. I try to give advice and decisions, but it's always that crooked, slick mentality. That hustling mentality, the scheming mentality that I don't like. I despise that. I joined the military when I was 18 years old. I left when I was 49 years old. Never been ridden up in the military. 
Nothing like that. I did active duty reserve, National Guard, all that. What I'm trying to say is that we have honor and integrity. We have a code of life and ethics. We have ethics. We got random urinalysis tests. I ain't never smoked weed in my life. We get to that point in a second. I'm not going to show some, be a spokesperson on your, hey, this is where the land's going to be. No. When your time is coming, man. The time is coming. Channels behind the scenes having talk trash. You kept doing that, brother. Even, man, try to come out here to take your life, man. I spoke to many people behind the scenes. I mean, he could live like that. You can't fight your own battles. You're a wimp. You're a man. Having all these wives and stuff to prove your manhood. Give me a break. Then I go to constantly yelling at the female staff. I got notes, timestamps. I got all that. Yelling at them, belittling the Gambian women. Disrespecting them. The day I got out of quarantine, I was offered weed and alcohol. I'm still employed on my job. Anyway, I don't, I don't mess around with weed. And to go to a bar and, and, and be around some women and, and do this and that. I came out here for my land, my documents. I came out for that. I came out here to have a good time. I never been to West Africa to that. I've been to East Africa several times. I've never been out here. I'm on a spiritual journey, not your hood journey. Anybody say something about this guy? Oh, he's gonna, I'm gonna be on YouTube. I'm gonna be on YouTube for several weeks again. And oh, here we go. We, we'll see. I'm gonna be on YouTube, this and that for several weeks. Cause this dude, who is this dude? Who is he? I said, no, I don't smoke weed. I don't drink. Oh, come on, have, no, I said no. No. What? I start smoking weed or drinking? Then I'm the uh it'll be I'll be the weed man. Uh, I need the weed man every time I come in. Oh, who got the weed? Who got the weed? So that's another way they pimp people is that if you got like some habit, alcohol or some weed habit, and you, whatever, they know you can't get certain things out here in the Gambia then you're going to be on the call. You're going to be on their call. This is my phone ringing. You're going to be on their call. Hmm? You're going to be, you're going to be spending money on certain things, items. Okay. Because they, they, because you have some type of addiction and then try to hook you with women. So, Oh yeah. See, yeah, he, he, he did this, have something on you. Everybody want to have some kind of leverage on you. See, people are being fooled by this person. I, I I was not man. Tell you right now. Tell you right now. I'm coming out of quarantine. I'm not coming out of prison for three or four years or several months or something. I just come out of two week quarantine. I'm offered this. All that stuff. I almost stop the damn car. Get me out of the car. Went on the side of the road. Got in their face. I said, Don't ever offer me nothing. I'm a grown ass man. Offer me nothing. I think at that time I was 50 years old. At that time, 50 years old. I'm a grown ass man. You can't make me. I ain't smoked weed in my life. I was raised in the hood in Long Beach and stuff. Now I gotta come out here and and and, and create a habit forming stuff for me that that I didn't even that I kept away from my life all my life and come out here. Why? Because you a black man. No.
you have a bravo, bravo, you're not an alpha male, you're a bravo male type of personality, a, a, a feminine kind of personality, wimpy, talk good crap on the, on the, on the tool, but you can't talk it on the, on the real thing. Just wimpy. Not a real Muslim either. Not a real Muslim. Slot for love. See, when you come, when you marry the women in here, you, you, Muslim women, you have to be a Muslim man. Okay. Now, when you when you're at home, you're praying together, you're doing salat, bismillah rahman rahim. You're doing all those things. Okay. So when the prayer call comes, then do the, do, do the women actually see who you really are then and you lie to the family say you was a, a praying practicing muslim is that was that what it is because they they wouldn't marry you they wouldn't marry they would not marry they would not marry into you if they would if they would if they knew it i'm pretty sure you're jealous man you're intimidated by a strong man more experienced man you notice you only you really don't have really strong brothers on your side that with you you notice that Where's the man at, bro? You surround yourself by women all the time. That's your problem. That's your problem. That's always going to be your downfall. The women. Look at the pattern. You don't even see the pattern in you. You don't see it. He is worried about discrediting everybody else. As, as to make a website, of, you know, hey, uh, we do websites. Oh, yeah, really? Sent them a website, sent them, sent them um, a picture of me with a suit and tie, you know, I have some other stuff, African clothing, this and that. <sighs> Guess what the website is? This updates to the Gandhi, okay? <laughs> Question and answers. I ain't even looking at the chat right now. Look at the website and guess what do the website the dude picks a picture of me on Facebook with a 5 o'clock shadow with a college shirt and then this dude all on my damn website with a suit and tie and stuff and then when you click the link and the link it clinks to his previous person associate this is my website for me to promote my channel And to try to help you guys out, if I could. Because that's the kind of person I am. I will try to help our people whenever possible. So that's, look, that's, that's, let me, let me see. Like I said, am I a threat? I am a threat, everybody. Why? Because I'm my own leader. Hmm? I don't have 100,000 subscribers, but I have a de decent amount of subscribers that people will listen and they see it. Yes. I'm a veteran military officer and law enforcement, former law enforcement officer. I have a master's degree. I was adjunct professor in college. I lived and traveled abroad off and on for more than 30 years. Okay. I know how I live. I know how life is overseas. I know how it gets. I speak several languages. Okay. So you make your choice as far as I ain't talking about choosing me as a, this, this, but you make your choice of whoever you want to choose. You can, you can be, work whatever and do whatever you want to do. I am not going to be, subject to any kind of smear campaigns and stuff because people want to make themselves brighter than what the hell they are. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to su su subject myself to that. I'm, today I'm speaking up about it because, and I said, I would draw, I got more than this, man. I got more than this. And let me tell you, this is just a, this is just a small smidgen of what can happen. So I, I, I really respectfully, my brother, tone it down. Leave the THC alone. Even if you say you're not part, you are part of it. Everybody know who you are. So leave me alone. Stop acting like a little girl, which you act like all the time. Okay, that's why I don't, that's why I don't mess with you. I try to help you out a few times. I try to back you up behind the scenes, include several other YouTubers out here behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? I try my best to be neutral and to help things. But you're kind of scandalous, bro. You're not, you're not, you're pimping the movement. And everybody can see it. And now everybody's saying all this stuff is true. It's true, man. 
and you know it's true. So come, so tone it down. Stop trying to defame everybody else because your name was ruined, and you did it to yourself. You did your, you did it to yourself, brother. Okay. So don't don't try to make everybody fall because you fell. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Let me go through the chat. I know I've been on for a while, family. So um, let you guys know. I have to let you guys know what's going on, family, because you know there's been some uh, de deception and and people. It's it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous, and uh, and you guys need to be aware of that because uh, there's a turf war going on here that people want to be the big, the only resource to to the diaspora. Everybody has a chance. Everybody has an opportunity. Okay. Like I said, I am a threat and you're going to see it. You, you see it that I am a threat. Okay. Smart people who have themselves together, they see me as an ally. They see me as a resource. They see me as their brother. But jealous people, the people who want what I'm doing or trying to do better, look at my website. My website is lit. I got professional professional person, well knowledgeable person working on it. I did some things myself, but mostly that person. I don't got some raggedy ass damn website look like trash, like a uh, sixth grader did it. I don't got that. Dude is jealous of any strong male figure. So he surrounds himself with women all the time. Uh, anybody that makes him shine, he, he, don't, he don't like it. He, he, he's jealous. Get the number. I didn't want to get this way, but like I said, um, keep going with me. I'm going to throw, throw it. So I said, you know what? Yeah, I had a good time. Thank you. Hit the like button. Tap the cheese egg in the house. What's up, brother? Hit the like button. Yeah, bro. Yeah, TAC, stay positive. Keep the West Side flow. Sounds like a lot of drama going on. Avoid these dangerous women and shicey men. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Oh, uh, I want to meet with you. I want to meet with you. Uh, I want to meet. Man, I don't got time for your stuff, man. Huh? I'm not got time for it. Real stuff. I got time for your drama. <laughs> I don't got time for that. I'm positive. I don't got time for that. The women, women screw men's lives up. You see it all over the two, all the channel. You see it. And women, y'all know. Y'all know what's up. Majority of y'all queens are on point, on cold. But some, the shiesty ones can try to ruin you as worse. They try to take you down. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Hey, Ms. hey, salam to you. Salam to you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'm already expecting some stuff. Even bark to you, exit 21. Even dark to you. Yeah, have a beautiful time. I'm going to another uh, luncheon right now to have some good uh, food. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, I can't be worried about my platform all the time, man. I can't be worried about it when I see my people being deceived and being, being by some hustlers, pimps. I ain't going to let it happen. Okay. Man. Don't, don't, don't give us lip service. Okay. Don't do that. I got plans for you all. Positive stuff, okay? Land's going to be cleared, everything, all that stuff. Lee Slayton, what's up? You got a lot of things. I can like this video. <laughs> yeah, behind the scenes, just y'all smiling. Man, I'll tell you right now, it's fake as you can get. Hey, how you doing? Greetings to you. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you, if you ain't seeing my, uh, yeah, it's all about some real talk, man. I'm telling you right now. I'm not going to just just sit back and just and let let this stuff happen and, and, and people be food out of their money and stuff, man. I'm not going to have that happen. I'm not going to have it happen, man. Okay. Anybody that's a threat to this, this one person, this, this guy, this, this dude, you know, uh, so-called Muslim stuff, whatever, everybody who's a threat is, is getting chopped down. Even the people we ain't involved in stuff. Huh? Is that is that, that kitty stuff? We build your stuff, grow your stuff. You you you, you make mistakes. Build we build your stuff like a man. You keep going back to the past over and over again. Nobody want to hear that crap. 
A lot of people who, who on his channels don't even know about it. But you bringing stuff up to people, oh, what, 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 what happened? Nobody want to hear that crap. Take a, take a real man's advice. Won't you have a king to king consultation with me, bro? Okay. I, I It'd be for free with you, bro. Okay. Have a king to king. Uh, bo book it with me, man. Book it with me. You This dude try to uh, 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 screenshot stuff and, and send emails and stuff. He, he does all kind of sneaky shit, man. This dude is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He shouldn't even be in the Gambia. I don't care if you got family or whatever. You, you shouldn't even be here, man, because you just mis misleading everybody and using everybody else. I'm so I'm so good. I'm I'm so I'm just a good person. I'm the I'm this. Man, you ain't nothing. Every time you look around, you got some scheme or something going on, bro. I got tired of doing it. That's really much more things this man has said to me that I don't, I, I was like, "No." No. No. You plan. I try to help you, man. And you look at what you do to me behind my back. Trying to help you, speak up for you. Okay, because I know how some women can try to attack brothers. I know that. I know how that is, bro. But then you go attack me by using other people's platforms to do stuff like that. They're going to say, oh, he ain't do nothing. He, yeah, you do it. You did it. Because when a certain YouTuber said something that I was being a targeted, you, you would have had and made a live about it. You would have had and made comments in the chat. How much did they pay you to, to do this, to make a video like this? You disrespected me, man. You disrespectful. You disrespect. Every now and then, I gotta come out like this. You are disrespectful. When I can't, when I pay for the Airbnb, I had the whole. I had. I, I, oh, do act like they ain't never seen that much money in their life, man. The the the, the, uh, the damn uh, the lossies came back with a stack. Of, I'm like, damn. Is this what it came to? Come to? Hmm? Get mad because people are building their own homes. What kind of black people are these? Is this? Huh? We can have we couldn't even have our own homes before everybody. Huh? We lived on slave roads, slave shacks. Is that the sustainable community with the, 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 the boss man taking the master taking care of us, feeding us pork, chitlins, pigtails, pig feet, pig, hog maws, neck bones? Is that the kind of they whipping us to death? That's a that's the kind of community. No, we want our own stuff. We don't got we a lot of us want to we got money. We want to come out here and build our own stuff. We don't want to come out here and be pimped because you want a yacht. We're not here to pay for you to get you a yacht, man. That's why you've been trying to do this to me to silence me to make my reputation because you know I'm gonna come on with you, bro. I mean, no, you know, you know, it's going to be, I don't mess with women. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't go back and forth with women. Come on, bro. I go back and forth with men. That's what a man do, bro. That's what we do. Keep it real 100. You come with me. You come correct. Uh, this East Side of for life, homie. You understand that? Hmm? This is East Side, Long Beach right here. I can, I can give it like that too. Like I said, everybody, I, I, I get education. I get religious. I get military. I get law enforcement. And I get hood on you. Hmm? I get hood on you too. I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not going to say nothing because he doesn't want his platform to be ruined. Is he? He wants his platform. Man, I don't care right now because you, 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 you are ruining people right now. You're trying to ruin people to make yourself better than everybody else, bro. That's what you're doing. You're trying to ruin people to make yourself better. That's what you're doing. Oh, I don't have nothing to do. Yeah, you do, man. You you a wimp. You're not a man. That's why you don't have no strong brothers with you. You're intimidated by strong men. You're intimidated by us. You don't want to be around us because we outshine you. We're taller than you, huh? You got a complex, and it's and it's evident. Always on the videos, looking high, eyes all red and stuff, and looking drunk. You don't even look clean, man. You come in Africa. Look at me, man. I'm older than you. I'm older than you, bro. Look at me. Look at my face. Look at me. Clean. You're looking all raggedy, man. I don't care how much uh, the last you spend on some clothes. You're still raggedy looking. Yeah. You're a wimp. You're a wimp. What you're doing right now is deceiving the deceiving people. Deceiving people. And shout out to that sister talking about going to a serious crime. Shout out, shout out to you. That may just happen. 
You don't leave me alone, homie. You better leave me alone. Trust me. I don't need to fight you. I already know I can take care of that. I can handle you a little bit. You're like a little toothpick for me, man. A little chump. And granted, you probably get chased home from school every day. Like I said, you're nothing. You're scandalous. You're scandalous. Your little your stuff ain't going to, you ain't going to pimp the community, brother. You're not going to pimp them. They don't want to hear your nonsense anymore. Find another scheme, brother. Find another something else, bro. Hmm? Once you build your own house, you don't even got a house out here. You ain't on land nothing out here. Once you build your own house and, and say, this is an example of how you can have a home here in the Gambia, or you can have some land. Stop showing other people, stop showing people other your, your other people's lands and this is how you should do it. This, this is a fan. Stop showing people that. We want to see what you got. Not everything. Okay. Not everything. Everybody got their privacy. I got my privacy just like you. Blessings to you. Blessings. Dangerous Dolly in the house. How you doing, my sister? What's going on? Uh, using women to do your little dirty work, little chump. Huh. I don't, I don't, I don't debate with women, homie. I don't do that. I know that crap. But you, man, oh, we we can talk all day, bro. I don't even live that. I don't live that far. I live in the next city, the next area than you. Come with it, man. Chop it up. You scared. You don't want to talk man to man. You scared, bro. You scared because you got skeletons and you have deceived people so many times. Yeah, you are a scammer. Yeah, that's what they say. You try to scam. You a scammer. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You try to ruin everybody else who got potential to do certain things out here to do it. I got more notebooks, brother. We can go to serious crime. We can you take me to court, whatever we go. And I got time, date, stamps. I got witness. I got witness statements, bro. Talk, talking. You want to go there? We want to go that route with me? Come on. Like I said, I'm an ex-military, ex-cop, law enforcement. Hmm? I know how to take notes and detail notes. Hmm? I know how to do that, bro. Witness statements of how you harass people. Kicking people out your house all the time. Like, 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 bro, like it's yours. It ain't yours. You have your right to your domain, of course. What you need to do is just relax. Go ahead, build your stuff up. Stop putting everybody else down. A real person don't put people down to build themselves up. They already have it in them. Do you have it in you to build yourself up? To be a man? To come out here on your own and be a man? Having many wives in this don't make you a man, bro. Can you take care of them? That's what make you a man. Do we have to take care of your women and your wives? Do we have to take care of them for you? That's not what we're here for. That's not what the repack community, people talking about re, uh, people uh, donation, this and that. Huh? Is this what this is going to happen? Blessings, Daniel. Yeah, exactly. So they so they piggyback off of others. Exactly. Yeah. As soon as I say something, this dude on the video saying the same damn thing, calling me. Did this uh do do do? I'm like, dude, I don't want to get involved in it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, trying to get me on a recording so he can have evidence against the people that he's trying to defame. That's what you're trying to do. You're sneaky. You already did recording before on people. You don't think I know about recording? I'm I'm, I'm ex law enforcement. Hmm? You don't think I know about that kind of stuff? I know about it. You're not slick. <laughs> Allah is the greatest. You're damn right. Allah is the greatest. Allah Akbar. Yeah, the ethics never go away. It's always going to be in your system, a hustler, going to jail all the time and you know, juvenile stuff, you know, whatever. Huh? That's always going to do. It's always going to be in your system. Even when you even when you try to do the best you can, if you don't have Allah, you don't have the most high, you don't have some type of spirituality, a true spirituality, not just by talking. You're always going to be corrupt by the heart. You think I'm going to sit back and just relax it? When I know you behind a lot of this, you must be crazy, homie. Calling you out, man. You're going to be exposed again. 2022 exposure time. 
You've been exposed before, you're going to be exposed again. Looking all high, eyes all glossy on the damn screen. Who's going to trust somebody like that? Are you going to trust somebody like that with your money? They're looking for the next weed bag, marijuana or, some, or 40 ounce, whatever the hell. They ain't looking, they ain't, they ain't trying to do this. They skimming off the damn top. This brother skimming off the top. How all of a sudden you got your doors is all falling off, toilet seats cracked up and all that, whatever. And all of a sudden it's fixed. It looks nice and clean. New doors and all that. Where did that come from? Doing the same time all this was happening. Don't, bro, don't, don't. Tone it, tone it down, brother. I'm telling you right now. You don't want to see me in court. You don't want to see me in court. A real Muslim in court on your ass. You don't want to see me in court. You don't want to see me. Stop the harassment of me. The cyberbullying and all that stuff. Stop it. Of other people as well. Okay? Other people out here as well. Just because they say something about you. You like a little girl. Give me a break. You going to go. <laughs> you little girl. Give me a break. Exactly. Never smoke weed, period. I heard that. Exactly. I'm with you, cousin. Hey, what's up, cousin? I hate to get over the spirits. You know, it, I, hate to, I, hate to, I hate to get over that spirit. They haven't done an honest day working in life. Never. Never. Always being side jobs, hustling and, and pimping people. Not a nine to five, nothing like claiming this and stuff. Ain't never did nothing like that. Always been hustling since you were a little kid. I heard that. And even if you did smoke weed, okay, but don't try to force me to do it, okay? They try to do that when I was a teenager. I said, no, no, no. I'll drink a 40 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, English and stuff, you know, cracking that eight ball. Yeah, I used to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Long Beach. So, you know, that's part of the, the culture. But when I saw, and I told you, you know, uh, videos back in the day, is that I saw weed let, let the people smoke and crack. And I didn't understand why. I thought maybe they got tired of the weed and so they want to get something stronger. See, that's my young mind and stuff. And I see I crack ruin people in my family, close family members, okay? Close family members. And people trying to defend this clown. Stop defending this clown. He's a clown. He's not a man. He's a wimp. He used people to do his other stuff. He don't, he, he don't know how to do things. So what? I'm be caught. So what? So make a thousand videos about me. I don't cares. Who cares, man? Make it because I'm telling the truth about this fool. Go ahead. He's a fool. He's fooling you. He's fooling a lot of people out here. He's fooling a lot of people. He's a loser. He's a loser. He lost things. He's a loser. He's no good. He's no good for any movement. He's no good. He's talking. He don't care about repatriation. He don't care about spiritual journeys. He don't care about Marcus Garvey. He don't care about all these people. He don't care about nothing but, but, but filling his pockets and getting a yacht. I'm going to give me a yacht. Hmm? Give me a yacht. How are you going to get a yacht, bro? Off the repat movement, you're going to get a yacht? Those are your words, man. Those are your words. I'm going to get a yacht doing this and this. Give me a break. Timestamp, receipts, and invoices. I'm telling you, and like I said, my I'm, gonna have the, I'm about to have that Kool-Aid special. I told myself I was going to have it. But sometimes the dynamics of your channel has to change occasionally. Am I right? And some people got to get called out. So today you're getting called out, homie. You're getting called out, brother, fake. Probably try to help you out behind the scenes and do things like even speak up to you sometimes on the lives and try to try to back you up. You know, black man, Muslim man getting getting uh, uh, business is being ruined by this and that. And, you know, what I'm trying to back you up, you go do some sneaky stuff like that, man. And I was I was accused of not backing. I was supposed to go on a live. And now you see everybody. Now you see why I didn't get on a live and defend this fool. That's the reason why I didn't get on a video back in last year, the year before. And defend this guy because of this this stuff that was going on. I saw it. So why should I get on the live and defend those people? Do people want their money? They want this. They want that. If you having any problems with your land documents and stuff, separate to anything, uh, hit me on my website www.thehappycompanionservices.com. Yeah, hit me up on that and see what we can do. Okay, all right. So 
like I said, they're going to get on the on live to defend some dude that like that offer me weed and offer me this and that to go to a mosque and pray. That's the first thing I did. Even in quarantine, they told me to lead the Friday Jumat prayer. It was a dozen of us there, but I led that. I did the khutbah, I did the prayer, I did talking. Okay? I didn't come here to be a hustler. I didn't come here to exploit the Gambians. I didn't come here to exploit the, uh, the repats. That's already been done. And, it's, and they're trying to do it again. They're trying to do it again. And you get mad because you're trying to defame people who see you for the person that you are. You get mad about that. Don't get mad about that. Change yourself. Surround yourself with religious, spiritual people. I got more coming. I got my own series coming. I'm going to make my own playlist pretty soon. I said, you don't want me to go there, bro. And sisters out there. Hmm? The sisters. The, trust me, you don't want me to go there. The sisters I rejected. Trust me, you don't want me to go. I got screenshots. I got the nude photos that you sent me. All that stuff. Several of them send me new pictures of themselves. Hmm? Two pages of bi biographies saying how much they want me, how much they, 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 they would be a good woman with me, this and that. And then when I reject them, they, they go and then they go on lives on certain channels, lives, and they and they on the panel talking trash, making up crap. I got invoices, receipts, photos, everything. OK, so keep it real. I know this is Eid. I know this is Alhamdulillah. But you know what? Sometimes things have to be spoken. OK. Integrity first, you damn skip it. Integrity first, service before self, excellence, excellence, excellence in all we do. These are Air Force core values. Honor, respect and devotion to duties. Devotion to duty. This is Coast Guard core values as well. I was in the Air Force and Coast Guard. OK. All right. That's how we live. We live by integrity. You got some you got some hustler. Trying to act like he got integrity. You a hustler. You a pimp. You use drugs. You get drunk. Look at your face. Look how, look how ashy and... Come on, bro. Look at me. Everybody can look at my face and tell, tell you that I'm living a clean life here. I'm living a clean life here. I'm older. I'm in my early 50s, everybody. Hmm? That's what living a clean life and having a clean conscience does to you. You live nice. You look nice. Your body's nice. You feel nice. You're healthy. You understand what I'm saying? Be a man. Like I said, brother, I'm going to offer you a king to king consultation. Okay. You can contact me on the website and we can talk man to man. And if you want to meet man to man, we can have a constructive dialogue. Okay. Now you're gonna get on there, probably make up some crap, do your long little video, whatever, bro. Everybody know who you are. Everybody know who I am. Who has a better reputation? Who does more things out here? Who has businesses out here? Your whole business is based upon repats. Okay. I deal with uh, tailoring. I deal with the tourism, Gambians, and everybody along. Give me a break. That stuff is all about the repat money. You give it, you're offering people key positions for their loyalty. Everybody can see through the scheme. You would never offer me something like that because I will outshine you. I'm more educated to you than you. Okay. I look better than you. I'm more handsomer. I'm a handsome guy. Okay. Not to be arrogant. I ain't never had a problem getting women in the plantation plantation mindset and i definitely don't have a problem getting women in africa and marrying them the real way and i marry them when i'm prepared to do so not ear prepared just to say i can get a wife tomorrow i get a wife in this you can't even take care of them using repack money to take what about that let's have that on an investigation how to repack money is taking care of your family your wives let's do that when we have that, when is that going to happen? People standing up for this food. Give me a break. Often people keep positions to stuff. 
Exactly. Muslim for convenience. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I, you know what? I am I know what you're saying. Um, don't worry about the low vibes. We know how they roll over here in the state. Oh, they roll. They roll right over there in the States. And then, and then they leave. They leave Africa because when they're on their uh, investigation and they may be put to prison or something, they go ahead and leave until the, the court case, until it dies down. And then they, oh, I'm coming back now. That's why I don't associate with y'all, certain peoples. I don't. Bad company corrupts good, te- good, good character. Am I right? Bad company corrupts good tech. I can't even say it, man. As I said, I used to stutter when I was a kid, man. I still in me. Okay. I'm going to say it one more time. Bad company corrupts good character. All right. I'm just a little hyped up right now. You know, I had my own demons. You know, I had speech impediment. My brother, my dad, too. My dad stuttered. Hmm? My younger brother stuttered. He still stuttered sometimes. Even me, I stutter. Okay. I have to think before I say something. Okay. So it comes back. Hey, is that is that is I'm going is that a character flaw with me because I stutter? Is that something because I have uh, I've served my country and I have war, I have nightmares, whatever you know, flat going on a on boats, hazardous duty, assignments. Hmm? When I have to take my when my I protect my team, huh? I'm an officer. Thirty eight to fifty people under me. And I have to make sure that they go home safe so they can do what they got to do. You know how much pressure that is? White, black, Asian, Hispanics. That I have to, they, they let me, a Muslim, American, rebirth, convert to Islam, be an officer. You're damn right I'm proud of that. Anybody who dishonors and dis, discredits a military veteran for anything that they have problems with is not an American. You're un-American. You're not it. You're nothing. You should be ashamed of yourself. People like that who fight for the rights that you all can do what you're doing right now. Eating Captain Crunch and Fruit Loops, cream cheese and bagels. I used to say that in one of my uh, when I was a drill. I was a. Uh, I was a. At one point I was a sergeant major, sort of. You know, I was in a. I was in a uh, academy. You know, as an instructor, okay, graduating folks, 48 students at a time, 50 students, this and that. Come on, man. And you want to listen to some hustler? The hustler needs to step down and let somebody else be the spokesperson, but you can't do it because you're too arrogant. You want everything to be you. It's all about you, 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 you. You want to be the shine. You want to be the pimp. Nobody want to hear you, man. Get somebody clean. Get a strong brother, not me, because I don't want to be part of it. You do your own. You guys do your own thing over there, and I do my thing over here. Leave me alone. I leave you alone. Simple as that. Is it? Is it to take down the competitors? You talk about corporate coup. This is a repack coup. This is what's going on right now, folks. It's a repack coup. Oh, I was taken down for a corporate coup. These women came over and did this to me. They saw exactly what I see in you, homeboy. That's what's going on. And a lot of people saw. Oh, just do, just do a video with me, man, and speak about the plays. Man, I should have declined those damn videos. I wanted to. I should have. I try to help you. Try to be on your side. Try to help a black man over here in Africa trying to do it. I said, then, hey, hey, let's do it. Nobody wanted, man. As I said, tone it down, man. Tone it down. You got, you're losing one of your best possible allies here. Because you're greedy and you want to have everything yourself. You don't care about repats. You don't care about nothing. You got yourself in a financial bind situation and you can't get yourself out of it unless we all get involved in it from the diaspora to help your ass out. And that's what you're trying to do. I'm not here to give sweet talk and and sugarcoat and give a fairy tale thing about Africa. Stages that I go through. And I'm going to reveal them to you. The juju, the mechanic taking my car, the break in, possible break into my crib. I'm going to tell you guys that. Some Muslim brother told me not to even mention that kind of stuff. I said, no, that's a disservice to not tell people about that. I had people try to put shit stuff in my food. Juju stuff. 
in my drink that I do uh, washing, uh, the, uh, cleanse myself. I told you guys about that. People put little notes on there trying to put, put uh, black magic. I'm a Muslim. I've been to Hajj. I've been to three Umrahs. Mecca and Medina. I've been on Holy Ground, baby. This is this not a joke. Have you been to Hajj? Have you been to Mecca, Medina? Have you did any of that? Have you had any intentions of doing that, Muslim? Do you know how to pray? Do you, do, you, do you know how to make a salat? Do you know how to call the prayer? Can you read the Quran in Arabic? No, you can't. I know you can't. Why are you going to come to a Muslim country, act like a Muslim, and don't even try to learn how to be a, true, a real Muslim? You're going to call a, a prosecutor on me for this video? Go ahead, bro. I got notes, timestamps, and dates. I'm not scared of nothing. I'm not scared of nothing. It, it smells exactly, exactly, exactly. I'm trying to get me to do a video saying this is the land of the community. It's not even in the land of everybody. This is the kind of guy you're dealing with. For the community that was back in 2000, when I was out here, the last day I was here, trying to get me, I did a little lot, trying to get me to do that, man. I say, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I would not do that. And I would never do that because I have integrity. I have spirituality. You try to break everybody down and put the people down because you want to come up. You're taking little shots and, and revenge off of people, using people to do your dirty work because you're not a man to do it. Come with it, bro. Come with it. You say some little things sometimes. Yeah, I give you that. You, you say it, you know, to the women. Come to, come, 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 come to a man, homie. You're always putting down women all the time. You know what I'm saying? Come come to a real man. Come come talk to a real man. I ain't worried about the women. Women, y'all, women, y'all say what y'all gotta say. I'm worried about that man. So-called Muslim brother. That's what I'm worried about. Think I'm gonna sit there back and just let my name be run down the dirt while you just sit behind the scenes laughing and giggling and making and trying to take three pats money and with your plans of ganja or whatever. You know what I'm saying? No. Humble yourself. Humble yourself and start fresh. I done gave you so much advice behind the scenes. Have I, have, have I not spoke behind the scenes? Do you tell people this? Do you tell people this? The people that you got attacking everybody, do you tell people this? No, you don't. You want people to keep attacking. You want people, you want this to, you don't, you know, anytime, anytime somebody says something about you, oh, oh, they, they lying. They, it's not true. Oh, they're a troll. They're working for this channel. They're working for it. Anytime somebody's saying something about you, no, nah, man, it's, it's it's not real. It's fake. You're phony. You're phony. And you, you being, talking about, he going to lie, talking about, oh, you, you that's why you're being exposed. You're exposed. Yeah, I can't even see the chat now. Here we go. I wasn't going to go to the comments, but I can't even see the comments now. You know how they playing little silly games on there. Okay, I can see it a little bit. Hello. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to deal with, I'm going to talk to uh, the bag family about that, hopefully. Yeah, you know. Hey, we can't even do videos with, 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 with the YouTubers here because if you do a YouTube with somebody, somebody don't like, guess what? You're going to be on a live. You're going to be exposed. And, or, you know, he, he likes this person. And, man, I like everybody. Even the, even the brother that I'm just talking about right now, I like him too. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like his damn ways. It's like you very smart, intelligent brother. I can say that. Very smart. Got systems, got this and that. Smart. But then the, the integrity part is what you're lacking. You can have all the technology and wise, and, but the, the, the heart, okay, that's what you're lacking. The heart is what you're lacking. This has been a long time coming, brother. I just let it keep adding up, adding up, adding up, but it's going to be more coming. Tone it down. I'm telling you right now, tone it down. We're going to keep going at it. Like I said, I ain't worried about the women. I have more respect than women than you do. I don't just use women for my dirty deeds. To do my dirty deeds. That's what you do. I don't do that. Everybody supposed to feel sorry. I don't feel sorry. Hey, Plum J, what's going on? Salute, salute, training. You damn skippy. 
immense skills and discipline from your train. Yeah. I'm on a new mission. I got time playing games. I'll tell you, I got a website that's 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 lit. It's being constantly updated every time. Okay. We're doing this, man. Every time you look around, oh, I'm I'm got a lot. I'm I'm uh I'm uh I'm doing uh I'm doing this, uh, uh you know, come together, um, you do this, looking all glossy and crackhead out and and, and druggy and stuff, we whatever. I can never say he did that, but I just tell you much, you know, I've been around plenty of them, trust me. Anything can get smuggled over here sometimes, you never know. Speak on it. You're damn right. LA County has good looking women everywhere. You damn skippy B Slayton. Come on now. Good time for that. Never had a problem getting women. I didn't, I didn't have to come to Africa to get a woman to, to get a to be a man. You know, I had to come to Africa for that. I was already a man before I came over here. I serve my country, our country that everybody's trying to slam. I served it. I'm still a patriot. I still love America. Okay, I still love it. Certain parts I don't like some of the white supremacy. Of course, who I'm I love America and I love the white supremacy there. No, I'm not gonna say that. No, I don't like white supremacy. It's a disease. Okay. I started my country. So I was 18 years old, man. I'm in my early 50s now. Recognize. Game recognize game. Trying to you this I got a, a, a chest full of ribbons. Y'all saw a lot of my uniforms and stuff in the storage when I had it there. Y'all saw that in my video that I had. Give me that. Give me a break. Serve the broad, serve overseas, serve everywhere, man. And you got some hustler coming out here trying to hustle y'all into having some type of community where he's the boss hog with his yacht. Yeah, I'm gonna have me a yacht. Yeah. Give me a break. That's why you keep trying to silence me. You want to, you try to find something on me so I won't speak up on your ass. But I'm speaking on it today, homie. I'm speaking on it today. Hey, 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 hey. Love you, Black Acres. I love the Bag family. I love them. I respect them. They're pioneers, damn it. The Bag family are pioneers. They come out here with little of nothing and they're making it. You know what I'm saying? They have brothers. Salute to your service too, Rick. Much love to you, brother. Much love to you. Yeah. Somebody want to get everybody afraid of being saying something on YouTube because guess what? We're going to be uh, a count. Somebody going to say something and talk about us. So what? Because you know what? I'm protected by the most high. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. I'm a say it. They try to they try to turn us against each other on YouTube, trying to turn us against each other, family. That family inspired me to come by watching those videos. Brought, brought at least four kids over here doing it. People got a nerve to sh shine on, sh slam them down. Because of what? Because you spoke, somebody speak about Mr. Scammer, Mr. Slick Willie, Mr. Drug Weed Head. Eyes always red. I ain't never seen nobody unless I was in the streets in Long Beach over there with eyes are always red and lit up. Anybody say something about this dude, oh, oh, oh we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna. So we're gonna talk your trash, man. And I hope this family get 100,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the Black, the Black Acres of the, fam, uh, of the Gambia, subscribe to them now. Because I subscribed to him long ago, before I even came to the Gambia. You goddamn right. You damn, you damn skippy. That's how we plan it. Yeah, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on some more videos. Come on, who cares? Who cares? What else? Who cares? I'm gonna be on some more videos again. Uh, you know, because this little scamming guy. You know, he's a weasel. He's a weasel. He's a little weasel. How are you gonna employ? You can't employ Gambians working too many places when you when your wives are working in every damn place. That's that's a job for one of them for a Gambian.
No, I'm not. I'm speaking from not anger. I'm speaking from logic. I'm, spe I'm speaking from the fact that there's one love. I don't think he's speaking from anger. His past anger, he's telling the truth about it. I experienced it, man. I experienced it with some no good, low down brother here in particular, in particular, a low down brother. He want me to do a video in front of the damn of uh, some land that he just, uh, uh, you know, we're going to go somewhere and we just do a video there. No, I'm not going to do that, scammer. I'm not going to do that. And I would testify in court on it, on anything. I'm not going to do it. He's trying to play innocent, like he don't, he's not part of all the smear campaigns and all this stuff that's going on around. He, he, he You're a part of it. You're a part of it. You're promising people um, positions, huh? leadership positions and stuff to back you up, man. That's what you're doing. Oh, there's so much division. There's not unity in the, in the gambit. You're part of it, homie. You cause a lot of problems with people, man. Why don't you build your own stuff? Go back to the States for a couple of years. huh? Stack your money up and build your house out here, man. Build you something. Got time for that crap? It's a complex East Side Long Beach. What's up? East Side LBC. Exactly. <laughs> but you say, uh, in my opinion, see down in action. A lot of I heard that, brother. <laughs> but yeah, man, I had a bad, I had had a bad yesterday too. Some random dude I don't know, I don't even know, made me lose a uh, cool. Unfortunately, I had to unleash the wrath of Allah upon him. I'm telling you right now, Muslims don't. We not scared of mankind. We ain't scared of people, man. I ain't scared of YouTube stuff. I ain't scared of that. A Muslim scared of Allah. We fear Allah. We don't fear man. Of what they can do, huh? We lose faith if we start fearing man. I ain't fearing. I ain't fearing my platform. I don't care, man. I'm not gonna sit back and just let this dude just run around like he's innocent. You ain't innocent. You're a chump. You're a weak man hiding behind women. Every time, every time you look at that, look, look, look at the pattern. He, all the everyone's a woman that he has. Come on, man. That's a damn shame. You're afraid of a strong man. You're afraid to be with a strong, be a strong man. Come on, come with it, brother. I'm waiting for you, man. I'm waiting. Not physically, not I already know I can handle you, bro. Don't it's not even like it don't even come that way with me. I'm just saying, man, come in dialogue, because this is gonna continue, bro. People gonna you're gonna be exposed. You're talking about exposing everybody. I'm gonna bring this person to justice. You need to be brought to justice. Over and over again. I know you got some cases pending. You want everybody to have case cases pending on them because you got them on you. Why? Because you're a fool. You're not. You're not. You, you got street sense, but and you got some little book sense. Okay, self-taught stuff, but a lot of common sense. You don't have it. You don't have it. I'm supposed to just sit here and smile and googly googly and kumbaya. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not gonna do that. They try to turn. They try to turn the YouTubers against each other, so we don't do live. We don't do videos with each other. We don't support each other. Oh, if you support, then I'm gonna do a video about you, and then I'm gonna do a video about this person. And I'm gonna do. A, oh, yeah. Are you down with this person? Oh, I'm gonna do a video about you. No, that's not how we do it. That's not how we do it. We gotta support each other on the ground because why? Because we're on the ground doing good things here. We're trying to do things positive, productive things. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Positive, productive things here. We on the ground here, doing it, living here, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it, eating it. We're doing it here every day. I'm talking about even the ones who are the scamming or whatever you want to call it. Even them, they're here doing it. At least they're here. You know what I'm saying? Inshallah, I'm going to end this live based upon what this Sharif said. Suso, alaikum salam with him. Inshallah, you know, um, I had to come out correct with this a little bit, family, because you guys need to see um, what's really going on and not to be uh, confused with uh, with 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 um, nickel poops. Uh, people who bring in the hustle to Africa, we ain't, we ain't trying to come out here to be hustled. And like I said, word of advice, you come out here with strong financially, spiritually all that together, 
Okay, you handle yourself. Take care of yourself, and then you merge yourself into these thing but if you if you can't do it if it's something that's urgent you know you can't we people understand it that's the reason i got the re i got some plans man and that's why they don't like it that I, my website is up now looking good and stuff like i said I'm, I'm offering them a king to king consultation how to be a real man hmm? how to be a real man that's uh, i'm off for your king so y'all ain't see me like this i told you i can get hood too or i can get i can get i can get street with you too i'm not some wimp i'm not some punk I'm not nothing like that. Okay. I hold my aggressions. I'm I'm modest and saying I can I could be throwing this damn laptop all over the damn uh, my room if I want to, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I'm not gonna entertain, I'm not here to entertain no one. Okay. I'm sick of this guy trying to put everybody else down because he's a punk and he and he up there ruined his whole damn career, his whole movement. You a punk. You don't want nobody else to get started because you failed. That's what it is. You're a wimp. You're a punk. And you know it. Whatever. Yeah. You're a punk. You're a wimp. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody. Much love to my cousin there. Much love to you. Always love to you. And um, appreciate you showing up. So sometimes you got to, and it's not necessarily venting. It's just telling you what's actually what's going on. Exactly, my brother exactly trying to spoil the movement that's what they're doing hmm? Hmm? somebody can be uh squeaky clean or something and this dude just go ahead and, and and try to find try to do some dirt or try to use somebody man get out of here you're as dirty as it can be bro huh you ranch it hello yeah
Okay, everybody. Sorry about that. I'm black. I'm not sorry. I'm back. Black. I'm back. <laughs> no, that's I said it wrong. I'm, <laughs> how y'all doing, man? The internet kind of got funky on me. Uh, it overheated. Uh, so the uh, Wi-Fi. I have. Uh, yeah, I froze. I know. It's, I'm back. So. Um, yeah. You need, you know, behind the scenes, hey, any YouTubers watching this in the Gambia, man, uh, we need to stick together out here, here, the positive content creators. We need to go ahead and um, and have a team, some team YouTube meetings or whatever like that. If anybody's getting uh, defamed uh, because they speak up on some stuff, uh, we need to go ahead and, and take immediate action uh, on those individuals. Uh, keep screenshots, uh, download the videos, save them, which I've been doing. So save those for evidence, and then you'll be able to uh, presentation um, uh, in court if necessary or with your legal team. So, so that's what I suggest. So if you're down with it, actually brought that up to me, is to have some type of, um, you know, team. We are we are representing, you know, our our countries where we come from. That the Africa in many ways we're influencing, we're making life changing decision based upon what we must. And it's bad things about us. There, uh, it's not it's doing a disservice to you all. So what we need to do is go ahead and um, in the streets. I'm talking about the positive content creators. If you're if you're a scammer, if you if you just hustling people, we don't want nothing to do with you. You're excluded. You're excluded from this uh, committee. You're excluded from this. People who are doing what they can. People here are pioneering the movement. We don't have time for people just in a, in a, in, a, in a dugout or on a bench sitting there mad because they're not part of the team or they're not part of the things aren't happening for them. No, we don't got time for you all. Okay, y'all can sit on the side. Y'all can sit on the side and 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 wait wait a little longer. Maybe you can get on the train with us. But right now we're, we're trying to make this movement, push this movement. It's not our my movement. It's not his movement. Her, her movement. It's our movement. Whether we do it to, uh, separately or to, together. In a cohesive way, we'll still <clears throat> have a movement that is that people are coming here to the Gambia. Even Gambians themselves are coming here to the Gambia to the Gambia because they're returning home because they see in our videos. You understand what I'm saying? They're leaving the and coming back and trying to build up in here. No, no one should ever be put, put down because they, they Decide to come here, here to the Gambia or anywhere in Africa to build them a house on their own and to handle their own business. Okay, anybody who discourages that is is a leech officer. There was clicks in my units and I broke them up. I don't, I don't like clicks and everything behind the scenes and think nobody don't know it. You are doing it on platform again and start over from scratch. You try to put everybody who you think is a threat to you or who, do, who you think perceived to have done something to you and you're trying to take them all down. We are not going to tolerate that anymore. Okay. No matter what says about me on this channel. Or anybody else, we still know who we are, and I know the people that I just gave a shout out to. I know who they are. 
Okay, and so you know what I'm saying we know who we are. We are the we know who we are because we stay here. We live on, on the ground on here. Okay, you guys are in America in the in man. I'm speaking with strength that you guys don't understand. A black man has to be angry. What's right, and he's speaking correctly, and he's speaking sternly to you. Yes, I'm speaking in terms sternly to you because I want you guys to realize that there are people here who don't care about you. All they care about is your money. They care about you going to use fear tactics in order to scare you into getting into these communities. I don't care. Okay? I don't care about that. So don't be afraid because you guys never been to over overseas. You never had a passport. So y'all seeing people telling you, oh, if you if you don't go into a community, your house is going to be a community. And this is all kind of stuff. You got uh, infidelity. You got uh, uh, adultery. You got uh, even a prostitution. Everybody in sustainable community. Okay, that's what you got. And you got law enforcement swarming around the whole damn place, and still, still things happen. Don't be afraid to come to the Gambia. It's a very safe country. It's safer than what I grew up in. Huh? It's safer than what, what I came from, Long Beach and stuff. It's it's safer than that. You from Long Beach hit the light button. East side is what's up. West side is north side. Is south side. Let's do this. Ain't got time. We're not out here playing little silly games, okay? There's some people there. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm this and that. You hide behind yourself, homie. You are always fighting women all the time. We are talking about women. You out here? You know you you wimp, man. You a wimp just because they stand up to your ass. They stand Standing up to you, huh? You don't, you don't want a woman to stand up to you. You go slam them. There's a few women who, man, I don't got for it. All I got to say is a good eat. I, I'm going to a good lunch. I expect more stuff to be said. But like I said, man, you need to be worried right now. Because you're going to be exposed. You are, okay. You, you are pushing people. People to go against you. And I was trying to support you a lot of times behind the scenes. But do you say that? Do you tell anybody that? Okay. And other YouTubers too. I say, man, your spot. Hey, man, do this behind the scenes, man. I say, hey, do this. Even other you can do it. But 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 you push me, you push, I try to give you ample chances, man. Time. Time after time again, people and manipulating people to speak to, to 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 try to defame people because you've been defamed, man. Handle your own business, bro. Be a man. Step up. Step up. I can't really call you brother because you're not really a Muslim. You know, you you you, you, you far. You 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 don't pray. You don't do nothing like that. You fool people to marry you and think you're a Muslim and. It, they define it otherwise. And then they stuck with you because they gave their they, they lives to you. And then they have to support you. You know, same. There's a, there's a lot of imposter Muslims out here. It Muslim, yeah, it's not one. And then people try to reason. I'm the I'm the guy saying I'm a I'm the guy saying my last name is Jalo. I'm not that person. I, that's not me. It's not me. It's somebody else. So don't even come on with me. Don't even come. I got receipts on you too, homie. It's not the only, you know, we got receipts. So don't don't let me go this route. I don't want to go this route, everybody. Y'all, I think y'all like my other, the way I do my business. But if you push somebody to the edge, to the, to the point that the truth, they have to reveal things and expose the imposters here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna expose. Uh, I'm gonna expose things. Are you taking people money, man? You're not paying people money back, huh? 
only when they strong arm you or like certain men, men will strong arm you, you'll get that money back. But the women, you don't care about the women, man. You, that's why you're a wimp. You know what I'm saying? And that's why your time is going to come when you are fully exposed and then your time to leave uh, the gamut. It's like other three-letter alphabet um, agencies are looking ported out of here. What happened? Uh, petition out of here, too. Maybe we do something like that. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Maybe something. I, I, this seemed like that worked before. Or it's been trying to work. I don't, even, I don't even think that person was 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 the bad person that you was working under. You did all the stuff. You did all the stuff behind the scenes. You had access to everything. That, that girl didn't have nothing to do with it, man. Man, she didn't have nothing to do with it, man. That lady didn't have nothing to do with it. You had everything to do that. You controlled everything. She that lady left you in charge of everything, all the accounts, everything, man. You know, she, she was just leading the platform, leading the, the the way. You did it. You did it. That's why she disassociated herself with you because you are a scammer, you are a schemer, and you try to use people to do your dirty work because you can't do it as a man and you can't let it. they can go ahead and be uh um, and, and be motivational and inspirational they can they can motivate and guide people and lead people and stuff and you are envious of that you are envious of that and you can't red eyes and and, and patchy looking uh, skin, bad looking on a drug binge. Everybody see. I gave you advice too, didn't I? I said, "Man, looking all scraggly, man. Be like a man." I got a teacher. Go ahead and book a, a consultation with me, and then I will help you. you should been you've been here long enough. You should already have it in you, but you don't have it. Well, holler at me. Still the G thing. Peace and blessings. And blessings, hey, keep it going. Keep it moving going. I have to listen to other people. Listen to other people who are defaming people. We are We are living in Gambia. We are here doing it. We are going to let you, my brother, we're not going to let you trash talk everything. So that's not going to happen. So, you know, you don't, you, you're not going to take any of your money. Don't let this man fill you with fear about getting a, uh, uh, Living by yourself because your house is going to get breaking in because he wants a yacht.